Welcome to the quick start tutorial for Capete, the abstract strategy game of Roman Civil War and Gods. You take control of 8 soldiers to plunder your opponent and capture the enemy. Be the first player to 6 points to win the game. Capete, part of Playford's series of social abstract games, is for players ages 8 and up and a typical game takes around 20 minutes to play. You can play Capere with 2 players or 4 players in a team battle. To set up a 2 player game, place the 8x8 grid board in the middle of the table. Then each player selects a color and collects 8 tokens of their chosen color. These represent the player's 8 soldiers which are placed on the bottom most row of each player's side. This is referred to as the first row. One die is given to each player which keeps tracks of points. Next, ready the deck by shuffling all the cards. Finally, a player is randomly chosen to start the first turn or by any method the players wish. To begin the turn, the current player draws a card from the top of the deck. The card drawn will be either a movement or god card. If a movement card is drawn, it must be played immediately. Each movement card will show a number of swords which indicate how many moves a player takes divided among any number of soldiers in their turn. All movement must be executed. Soldier movement is orthogonal and it can never move diagonally. In addition, soldiers cannot occupy the same space nor can they move through each other. Each movement moves a soldier one space and multiple movement can be applied to one soldier. When moving, a soldier can move in a straight line or change directions. After each movement, a player may plunder an opponent's first row or capture an opponent's soldier. Doing one of these will earn a player a point. To successfully plunder, one of your soldiers needs to reach the opposite end of the board. Do so earns you one point. That soldier immediately returns to the opposite side of your first row. If it's already occupied, move it to the nearest open space in that row. To capture, a player must completely surround the opponent's piece on all four sides. Once this is done, then the captured piece is removed from the board. A soldier can also be trapped by three enemy soldiers if on an edge or even by two enemy soldiers in a corner. Now let's move on to god cards. There are six different god cards. When drawn, they are saved and kept face up. The current player continues by drawing until they have drawn a movement card. Each god has a special effect when used. Starting with Minerva's Oracle, after drawing a movement card, a player may wish to discard this god card to send their movement card to the discard pile and replace it with a new one. Before a turn begins, the non-active player may play Vulcan to skip an entire player's turn. Mars can remove an adjacent enemy soldier piece from the board and Pluto resurrects by returning a removed soldier onto the player's first row. Neptune God cards give the power to jump. A jump allows a soldier to jump over another soldier and a jump can only be performed as long as there is a piece to jump over. A card with one horse allows for one jump, while the double horse can jump twice over two different soldiers or one jump across two soldiers. But the card you have to watch out is the Medusa. Drawing a Medusa turns the player's soldier to stone, making that player lose their turn. The game will end once one player reaches 6 points from plundering or capturing the enemy. Alternatively, in the rare case, the game can also end if all of one's player's soldiers are blocked and unable to move. If this happens, the other player wins. For a 4 player game, each player will get 4 soldiers of their own color and teams up with a partner. The player's partner will be seated next to each other. The goal for each team is the same, be the first to score 6 points. In this game, players combine their points from plundering and capturing for their team. The rule for plundering only affects the player of the opposite side, not next to. When capturing, both players of the same team can use both of their soldiers to surround and capture. The turns alternate from one player of a team then to the other player of the other team. In this example, player A goes first, then player C, then player B, and finally player D, and then back to A. Again, the game ends with the team to be the first to 6 points. And that concludes the tutorial for Capete. 
For more information about this game and others, please visit Playford's Games publisher website at playfordgames.com. Also, check out the designer of Capere, Paul Ali's website, caperetogame.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on board and card games. This is the Carbert Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.